Yo, what's going on, Rock Squad? Welcome back to another edition of Keep On Rolling. Today, I'm here with my boy Alec from Physique Sculptor. What up? What's going we on, We out guys? here vibing. You know, you know. Yes, sir. So, uh, what all you been up to lately? Besides working out, you know, getting jacked? Well, I just got my apartment today. Like, my new... Back at my new apartment. Nice. Uh, my parents just got it. They went down to Athens during this podcast, so bless them. But um, yeah, still going to university. Uh, yeah, I've been moving down, well, transferring to Athens in the fall. So low key, uh, all right, but I'm just kind of busy. I feel you. I feel you. I mean, at least you're not too busy. That would suck. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to like get loans out. It's kind of stressful being in college. Yeah. And to be honest, I don't even know if I want to do it, but like I have to. So. I feel you. What are you going for? Uh, engineering, electrical oh, engineering. Sick. So, yeah. It's yeah. It's not easy. And it's just like constantly doing work. But I just you know, finished up my semester. Just last week and I was also working my butt off because I started going to oh, yeah. again so because like I'm tr yeah and I'm trying to like you know get like a weight set for my uh challenge because I just I hit 2000 nice nice so I mean how, how's DoorDash working for you is that like honestly I'm making good money out of it nice um my parents thought like it wasn't gonna do much but then like I realized we're in the middle of a pandemic. Nobody's going to want to leave their house. So they're going to order out. And they're going to ask people to DoorDash. And it's super busy every single day. So I, I, I can just like look at the app. And it says, super busy. You can get a dollar to three dollars extra per hour per delivery. Nice. So it was just like, yeah. I might have to start doing this. Because like, I recently like got laid off my job at um, the oh, gym. Yeah. So like, I was... Yeah, and like they said, you might be entitled to like unemployment benefits or whatever. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. But they like they kept me like my claims that I had to keep filing every week. They had they just kept keeping them on pending, like they weren't even looking at them for five weeks. And I was like, this is kind of getting annoying. I'm gonna call them about it. Yeah. And they're like, oh, you're disallowed. I'm like, what's that mean? They're like, well, we'll send this to a specialist and we'll call you. There's something else wrong with your, you know. Uh, unemployment account. I was like, okay. And they basically said that I wasn't um, eligible for benefits because I apparently was not making, I think it was like 269 a week. Um, and the other requirements, like you have to work a total of 20 weeks before you even get that. So it's just kind of like, oh, uh, yeah. awesome. So I was just like, and I didn't know. And like until recently, they had to make like a new like system. So, like, you would have to just reapply there. It's for, like, specifically for the coronavirus pandemic for everybody. So, like, I signed up for that. But, like, as of right now, I'm doing DoorDash. Heck, yeah. I mean, it's a grind, you know? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's dope, bro. That's dope. That is dope. So, I understand you do a lot of, like, at-home exercises and stuff through this time. Because, obviously, gyms are all closed yes. and whatnot yeah um yeah i basically just have a pair of like gymnastic rings um a dip bar um parallettes I, I don't know if you know what those are they just kind of like elevate you from the ground with, like you're doing push-ups or something like that i have those and i have a pull-up bar and that's like basically i mean i have a pair of 20 pound dumbbells but like i only use those pretty much for my hamstrings but, like, I don't really use it for anything else. I just use my body weight here. But that's also another reason why I'm, like, waning because of, like, the challenge. But, like, I also want to have, you know, weights to lift other than just my own body right. weight. Because I'm kind of, like, getting bored of not being able to do, like, I don't know, a weighted pull-up or something like that. Or some weighted dips or weighted push-ups. It's kind of getting boring. Yeah. Gotta but, switch it up. Yeah, constantly. 
I mean, I'm working on like, you know, like those cool calisthenic moves. Like I just recently figured out how to do a decline one arm push up. But I'm like I'm also working out to doing like, I don't know, one arm chin ups. I'm trying to figure out what how to do a front lever and possibly handstands. Dang. But yeah, it that all takes time. Right. But you know, that's also like why I just kind of wanted to transition from like you know weight training for a little bit to go back to body weight and see how I do. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? I've always wanted to do a handstand. Yeah. Like it just. I'm always yeah. scared. You know? It's like. I just don't want to like exactly. Fall on my neck. It's always a feeling you're gonna like slip and fall on your head. It's just completely different from hitting your butt off the ground. Oh, it's very different. Like that, I mean, the only way you can build up to that is just kind of slowly, like elevating your feet, like onto a wall, and then doing a wall assist, and then doing it without the wall. Yeah. But like, I'm always afraid that I'll snap oh, my yeah. neck. <laughs> so what you've been up to? Oh, just working and then posting videos. Basically, that's been my life right now. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Been playing a lot of Call of Duty stuff, you know, good old days. Oh, yeah. I'm just, yeah, I'm trying to get a better camera. Like, I, I just use my phone to record videos because, like, I cannot afford a camera at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> but I know how to edit. You know, I have Sony Vegas 12 and 14. I prefer 12 just because it has. I think something happened to your mic. It's not coming through, I don't know. <laughs> See, it says it's coming through, but like I'm not hearing it. Is it my end? It might be your end. It might be oh, your okay, end yeah. I don't know what happened with here. my headphones, but there we go. I can hear you now. <laughs> I, got, I was starting to freak out. I was like, oh my god, I don't want this to happen like right, right. on the stream. <laughs> that scared me. What was I talking about like earlier? I, I, I like lost my train uh, of thought. You, you were saying you're saving up for the new camera? Yeah, I think that's what I said. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't forget <laughs> he said you're tired of using your phone, you're looking into getting a new camera, but you can't afford one right now. And oh yeah, yeah. That, what camera are you looking at? Yeah, like I really wish I had. I'm, I'm not really sure. There's like so many like varieties, you know, of, like cameras that you can right. get. I don't know. I, I just want something that will look extremely, extremely good in like lighting, because like every single time I try to record something with my phone and I try to get into that angle of light, it just it's, the light is way too harsh. It's way too harsh. Like I can't even like focus on it. Yeah like the video itself like i have to keep like you know putting my body at a certain angle or at a certain place so that like the light isn't so harsh right so you just need something with like exposure on it like where you can mess with that in the settings or just automatic exposure yeah absolutely i have the g7x mark ii it's pretty good with lighting and everything and you could probably find it for like probably 400 by now pretty cheap for a camera yeah. to be honest but like that's you know it's good that's like on my budget you know what i mean like i'll take that right. any day. do you take any kinds of like pre-workout uh, i just drink mixed energy you know yeah mixed that's pretty energy. much it i'm gonna drink some of my octane um usually around this time i'm extremely tired i feel that dude i got off work at one and you got yeah. off work how long were you working like, like how long were you working? Uh, well, like my schedule is 4 a.m. to 1 p.m. So like I wake up at like 3:30 in the morning, and go in. It's pretty rough just waking up early, but getting off at one's all worth it. Yeah, I did that when I was like at Starbucks and Kroger when I worked yeah. there. Is that like there'd be times where I had to get up at like 4 a.m. and it was just pure torture because like, I had to go in there 
And I knew that if I had, you know, coffee first thing when I got there, it was going to upset my stomach. So it was just like, I sat there dead. I mean, it wasn't that bad of a job, I would say. I would say, like, it was, it was okay. Like, I liked making the drinks. It was fun. But I hated the customers. <laughs> This one lady, yeah, this one lady would come in and she would complain that um, people wouldn't, you know, shake her um, shake and tea because that's what it's called. But like, if you stir it, the sugar actually dissolves. Jeez. It doesn't float to the top. Like she likes it. She puts like four or six sweet and oh my god, in and like and a bunch of cane sugar. Oh, it's so. Scott, I mean, that's not the worst one. Um, you hear that? Do what? No, I can't hear that. Nope. You hear this? You uh. can't hear it? Okay. I was going to do like, I don't know, what's that call where like people like... ASMR? Really speak quietly. <laughs> yeah, ASMR. Do a little bit of ASMR inside the, the microphone. Jeez. Dude, yeah, I, uh, I got a comment on my ASMR video from... I think it was like 2015, maybe 2016, where I like took a banana yeah. and peanut butter and stuff, and I was like, "I'll open the mic," and you know, you know my buddy Brandon, right? Yeah, he yeah. left a comment on there and he said the G word, you know, like trying to be funny. He's like fake and you know, like when that was big, and yeah. this yeah. like feminist commented, and she was like freaking out at him, bro. Like four years later, she comments like, "Oh, you're so cool for saying that." Blah 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 blah. Like just spouting off, and I'm like. Yeesh. Oh my god, he knows him. Dude. Yeah. I mean, it's not a like a nice word to say, but it's not like he was insulting you. I mean, that's just what your right. friends do. It's just how the times have changed. It's crazy. I mean, I understand like well, the yeah. um the idea behind feminism. Like, it's supposed to be equality and equity amongst the genders. Yeah. You know? But there's there's people who take that to top notch female superiority. Mm. You know, like that that's what like some of them want. That's what you would call it feminazi. Yeah. But like yeah, I don't have a problem with people like wanting like equal rights, but like being like thinking that you're superior over the opposite gender. Either way, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. Like that's it's just not exactly. right. I mean both both genders are capable of doing things. See, like they're, I don't know. I hate Oh, yeah, I think everybody does. I don't know a single person that's like, oh, yeah, love that. Like, <laughs> But uh, from that 70s show, like, Kitty made a pretty good point. She's like, you know, equal pay is fine, but wear some lipstick once in a while. Like, I mean, facts, though. Like, she... I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, you can't, you can't argue exactly. with that. All right, we're kind of treading in dangerous waters. We should come back to surface. <laughs> yeah, I think we should. Yeah, I think we should. <laughs> so, uh, you you still play any um, Call of Duties? Yeah. Um, I mean, just like recently, like no, I haven't had time, and it's like starting to get warm in my room now. Uh, so I have like a fan on me. So it's like I don't like being up in my room for like long periods of time because I sweat like a dog. Right. I feel it. So like, yeah. But, like, I, I don't play much. I, I try to go outside and walk. I like to walk 10,000 steps a day. Heck yeah. It's another form of uh, neat. It's called non-exercise activity thermogenesis or something like that. And, like, basically, yeah, you just – you're not doing any, like, extreme, like, things. Dancing, you're walking, you're biking, and you're just – yeah, you're burning off, you know, calories. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I, I don't like doing high-impact stuff. It's just not my thing. Right. Like, when it comes to weights, yeah, I love to do that. But, like, um, when it comes to running, it, it hurts everywhere. Mm -hmm. Doesn't feel yeah. right. See, when I run, it's just, like, I, I, I can never get a breathing pattern. I just, like, constantly, like, it's all over the place. It's pretty bad. But, yeah, I like walking and stuff. It's, it's always nice. Walking's exactly. nice. Like, I like to go out to, like, Blackhand or, like, Dillon oh, yeah. and just walk the trail for, like, hours. It's just, it's super nice. I like to listen to like podcasts or I like to meditate. Like, uh, what's that one app called? You, you know what I'm talking about? My, like Headspace? Is it called Headspace? Uh, might be. I think that's what it's called. 
it, yeah, it's like a meditation app. I like to use that, um, just because I don't know, it clears my head. You know, I'm usually like stressed out. Like I have like a gajillion things, you know, to do, right. and it's just like I try to make now like at least ten minutes of my time a day. Like even if I can't go to like Dylan or something like that, I try to make like ten minutes a day. I'll even walk around my neighborhood, and I just listen to like a podcast. It, it just clears my head. I feel it. And like I try to get ten thousand steps because that's like equivalent to I think like five miles. Probably. So like I think yeah two two thousand steps is equivalent to one mile, something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, either way, it's exercise still. But it's... yeah, ex- absolutely. Yeah, I usually like walk around. You stretch? Oh, no. I, I probably should stretch more, honestly, since I got these tall people joints, but it's just, I don't know. I always forget to stretch. Oh, dude, I'm on, I'm in the same book with you. Like, are you like six Yeah, four? six, three and a half, last time I looked. So. Yeah, I'm six foot one. So we're both six yeah. foot, right? And we both know how, you know, much of a pain it is to be a tall person. So I would, you know, at least do like, Ten, five to ten minutes of stretching every morning when yeah. you wake up, and five to ten minutes before you go to. I mean, I mean, it just it's going to improve your quality of life. You'll feel better, especially when you sit like this. Like this, that's like another reason why like I can't sit down and play video games is because like I can't sit for long periods of time because yeah. my whole body gets stiff and I feel awful. I get up and like everything cracks. Like I'm some old like arthritic. Yeah. Kid. Like I don't why, know. why is it why is it got to be a chick? <laughs> yeah. <You know? laughs> <laughs> guy I can say guy yeah. guy and girl <laughs> two genders exactly yo Noah what's up you got a question I don't know how long the delay is it's always pretty long on these to be honest don't know why Noah's got a question but yeah no whenever I'm sitting playing video games I'm always like hunched over right here it's yeah, does that hurt after Yeah, a while? little bit, you know, but I've been trying to work on my posture a bit more, standing up straight and stuff, because I actually found out I have scoliosis not too long ago. So, yeah. Really? How'd you I went out? to the chiropractor, and they took x-rays and stuff. Like, my spine's basically an S. It's pretty weird. Dang. Yeah. So you're like a snake? Yeah, <laughs> slithering, <kidding>. you know? <laughs> yeah, sure, man. <laughs> I'm gonna share this link to like my snap. I... It's an awkward silence. I like whispering too. <laughs> <laughs> Think of the elf. Oh movie. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chicken tendies. I love. That. Chicky Heck yes. What's your favorite kind of chicken tenders? <sighs> Grilled. Grilled. Yeah, are we like talking like from like B dubs? I mean, any anywhere like or your like, all time favorite chicken tenders you've ever had. My all time favorite. That was really hard. I know, um, there's a lot of good tendies out there. Low key. Yeah, low key though. Like when I was younger, and I would you you know be that basic kid who gets chicken tenders and fries. The best place I think that had the most smackable, from what I can remember, is Red Lobster. They had pretty bomb chicken tenders, and it's a fish place, so it's like you wouldn't even think right. that the chicken would be good, but it's yeah. incredible, fascinating. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had chicken tenders from there. <laughs> But uh, I like Canes. Canes is. Oh, okay. My first crush was um the Texas Toast. From Canes. Yeah. Just the, just the toast. Heck just yeah, the... dude! <laughs> I love Dip toast. it in the sauce. Oh my god. Oh, dude, the Canes yes. sauce. Can't Kill go wrong. Me. Canes got, Canes got some pretty smack. Right, they're, they're so greasy. Chick-fil-A Yeah, Chick-fil-A too. is pretty good. Oh, yeah. 
it's like it's like a nice texture from Chick Fil A. Right. Know. Like a nice little texture. It's like it's not a bad texture at all. I like Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A's fries. Chick Fil A's. <laughs> Ooh, the waffle yeah. cut. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I love that. Do you guys prefer low weight and lots of reps, or high weight with low reps? I I prefer low weight and uh, lots of reps just because that's what I have access to right now. And I don't know, that's what I'm most comfortable with because I feel like you can't really really push your limits when you do it that way because then it's like, you know, obviously eventually you're going to feel tired. But... I mean, you can. Like, if you wanted to, like, I don't know, build somewhat of a good, like, muscle definition with, like, lightweight... The best thing you can do is just, I don't know, time under tension. Like, if, like, that's the only way you got to, like, build muscle, you have to, like, go really, 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 really slow, keeping tension on the muscle. And then you just kind of hold it at the bottom for a certain amount of time, put it back up, or you can, like, jolt it up, keep repeating for high reps until, like, you feel like they're actually giving yeah. out. And, like, uh, almost breaking the muscle, fam- like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel that. But, like, for me, I can do, like, instead of heavy weight, because I don't have heavy weight, I can do, like, harder variations of body weight. Therefore, I'm technically progressive overloading. So, I will do, let's say, let's say you do, like, archer push-ups, and you have, like, you know, your feet, like, on a stair. And once you get good at that, for reps and it's starting to get easy the only way you can of course make it harder is by you know doing a harder variation so like if it was weights it's simple you just throw on more weight i mean it makes sense but like with you know body weight training you have to get really creative and you know how you work out and you should also train smarter you can't just go into an exercise thinking that you're going to do the form right if you've never done it before i see a lot of people do that like, I see people, like, when they do, like, one-arm push-ups, for example, they go straight down on their shoulder, like, on, like, on their anterior delt, which is the um, front of the shoulder. So, when they go down, they're just, like, screwing that shoulder up, and they could, you know, easily tear something, like a rotator cuff. It's yeah. not good. So, it's like, people need to, like, build up to that instead of just throwing on, you know, harder variations. So like like I said earlier, like if you're doing like decline, you know, push ups like with your feet and it starts to get easy, you make it harder by, you know, know, incorporating a basketball. Because like with your hands, you can actually kinda control like how much, you know, you're doing with one side. But with like a basketball, you can't necessarily do that. Like your hand is like on the basketball. So you can't like really put that much pressure up. It's only on the other, you know, area in which you're working. But, yeah, you can, like, you don't have to do lightweight with more reps, and you don't necessarily have to do, you know, heavyweight all the time with low reps. I mean, either way, it's going to work, but one will, of course, take more time than the other because the only way you can build, you know, muscle strength is by, of course, adding weight or doing harder variations. But if you wanted to, like, rep out push-ups on the floor for and, like, for reps, I mean, you can try that. I would just make it a little harder, like slow it down. Don't go for it. Just slow down, pause at the bottom, and then go back up. I mean, for as many times as you can possibly do it, just slowing it down. If you don't know, like how else to do other variations, but that's that. Heck yeah. I uh I got a gym membership right before they closed everything, so I'm kind of salty about yeah I'm oh, salty really? about that I don't think they've been charging it but like still like I was looking forward to getting in the gym and stuff and then got robbed <laughs> yeah like uh, which gym are uh, you going to like what did you Planet get a Fitness because they had that deal going on yeah Planet Fitness yeah. Oh, yeah so it was like a three dollar activation I did, I, think. I did three dollar activation that's yeah. nice actually but at least they're like not making you pay. I don't they? see anything coming out Monthly of my account, still? so I don't think so. That's good because the gym that I worked at and worked out at, they like cancel like every like monthly payment for everybody because they didn't want to lose people. Right. 
which yeah. makes sense. But like, yeah, so many people sign up and then literally had to like back out. You know what I'm saying? Because of this right. virus. I mean, it just it started so early on in the year. Everybody's like, oh, 2020, let's do this, and then just whoa. <laughs> oh man, it just came by and hit us like a truck. All everybody. Yeah. It was bad. Yeah, it's it's freaking wild. And it's like we've been quarantined for a long time. Exactly. You know, I was like, I was spooked at first because it was like a week after I came back from California, and they were like saying how. Really. Do it. Oh, you said really? I thought you said wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. But uh. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, they're they're like saying how airports and airplanes, you know, they're all like the like fastest way to get it and stuff like that. I was like, Oh dang, could take up three weeks, see symptoms. I was like, okay. Like I was, I was worried for a couple weeks, but like, I don't understand. Like, like I'm not an immunologist or anything like that. I just don't understand like how you can, um, have that virus in you and not notice anything for three weeks. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess it makes sense. Like if you have a tumor for five years and you didn't even know it, it makes yeah. sense. But like, it's, I don't know. Kind of hard to think yeah, about. Yeah, I, I don't know how symptoms are delayed like yeah, that. It's just kind of weird. The whole situation's weird. Well, most people. Oh yeah. It just got. It just makes you wonder about yeah. everything. Like I, I'm, I'm not mad. I mean, like, the government's trying to protect the public yeah. health stuff. So. But like, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. Yeah. What I'm going to be mad about is if, like, my first year, I can't, you know, go down there for my first year in Athens. Exactly. I know, like, so many mad. people were robbed of, like, graduation and stuff, like. Oh, yeah. And, like, I see people, like, um, our age, like, making fun of them. Yeah. And saying, like, oh, you're not going to graduate. I mean, there was a couple of funny memes that I saw about that. Yeah. Where it was, like. Um, yeah, I get the 60 and like 60 year olds and like, um, the little kids are the ones at risk, but let's talk about the real victims. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the people who had her, well, who couldn't have her last, um, what's it called? Yeah. Prom, the last senior prank and the, our only graduation, we went 12 years for nothing. I saw that meme from like some tweet. I laughed about it, but it's like, if we think about it. It's kind of It depressing. really is sad. Like, yeah. I mean, my senior year had to yeah, have like, been my best year of school. And it's... Oh. I wish I could say the yeah. same. Yeah. <laughs> See, like, how like, how, like, I was about to agree with you, and, like, I just said that. Nah, yeah. <laughs> like, um, yeah, I took harder classes my senior year. Oh, dang. It's pretty stressful. See, year. I kind of, like... So, I was taking... I, I made my way to the top without having to do anything too hard. I was taking like the basic level classes. I would just try to do a little hard, bit yeah. less than I needed to. And then I'd be like, okay, well, we're going to put you into this class. I was like, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like I just got done taking couch Jeez, too, bro. and I'm really glad. Yeah. Um, I'm really glad though, because like, I realized, like, my senior year, I gave myself, like, a good, like, jump start into college. And, you know, my parents want me to go. Yeah. And I wanted to go for engineering. So, like, I didn't really see, like, a big issue with, like, I don't know, going to university. Right. So, I was like, okay, well, I'll take harder classes to boost, like, my way into college. Now, like, I'm a sophomore. Like, as of right now, I'm a sophomore. Heck yeah. Um, because like I got nineteen credit hours from Zane State my senior year. And I got yeah, my, my college algebra, my pre calculus out of the way. I took calc one last like last fall and calc two just now. Jeez, man. And I'll be taking my last calc this upcoming semester. And at the end of the next semester that's coming up, I'll be like halfway through my undergrad. So like I wouldn't be mad. Right. And at the same time, like, I don't know if that's really what I want to do. I've been reading up on, like, engineering stuff, and it's just, like, projects, paperwork, um, constantly working 40 hours and sometimes more a week. It's just, like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I want to 
go into something with exercise, but like I've looked at like the salary payments like yearly and it's just like below 60,000 a year. So it's just like, I fine. mean, look into I'll being like a celebrity that... personal trainer or something. That's what I'm trying to do. Like, no, I'll, I'll tell you a story. I'm gonna take these off. I'm serious. <laughs> like, um, my senior year of high school, yeah. right? I was, um, you know, I was pushing through, I was completing my grades and when I was able to access like CBD mm-hmm. before like the whole 18 and up law, well, like before that changed to 21, it's like my buddy, Zach Palmer, he worked at that, that, uh, King mm-hmm. Papers. And, um, I would just get my CBD like gummies from there. It was oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. My parents knew about it, you know, but like, you know, they didn't seem to care because it's, it's not like right. a drug. So, um, I went in there and I would get my CBD products like all the time. And one day I was, I sat down cause my buddy works in there. So like him and I were just talking and he's like, Hey, you know, he's like, you should definitely like start up your YouTube channel again. And I was like, I, like, I never thought about it for like over like a year and a half to two years until he just said that. Cause like I privatized everything that I had on there before. Why did you privatize everything? For, though? Um, okay. There was two things. It was, um, cause like when I was like, you know, very, very active on YouTube, I was constantly on top of making videos. I was constantly just doing this and that. And then when I got into the marching band, like, um, everything just slowed down. Like I couldn't, like, I was like always at band all the time, constantly practicing. I was constantly at a football game or, you know, a competition or whatever. So I really didn't have any time to make videos. And like whenever I started making videos, like occasionally, like I wasn't as getting as much views as like I, you know, I did before. Like I made a lot of, cl- like a lot of clickbait videos. Yeah. I will admit that. Like that's literally what I did. And like I got racked up on views and everything like that. But then like as soon as I started like posting less and posting less, the less engagement I got, which makes sense. And the other reason is I just got bullied for it. I know, like, you would say, you know, don't care, you know, what they say. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, like, like people would just tell you that. Like, don't care what the bully says. Um, be you. Do what you want to do. Strive for it. And when people bullied me about it, I just – I realized how um, trapped I was, like, insecure. Like, I got, like, embarrassed – because I, I, of course, put, you know, inappropriate things up there, which will be my fault. I will, you know, admit to that. Um, I post a, like, very inappropriate clickbait stuff. I even got in trouble one time. I got grounded for a oh, month, I think I remember um, you. For yeah. one video. Yeah, I think yeah. you know what I'm talking about. What, but, what, um, wait, wait, was it, was it the one with Rihanna? Oh, no. oh okay. No, okay. no, 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 no. For some reason, they never noticed any of the other ones, but they noticed this one. I'll tell you about it later, not right, on right. stream. <laughs> but, like, because someone actually oh called them. God. Someone, like, physically called them and told them about it, and I was mad. I was like, who told on me? But then, like, that was also another eye-opener as to why I should probably shut down these videos. Yeah. This is another thing, because people are going to, you know, find out, like, especially probably, like, later on in, like, my career, like, if I, like, go into engineering, they're like, Hey, dumbass. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, look what, like, you posted. Why do we want you to be here and work? So, like, that's what worried me also is, like, future jobs. Um, like, how I'm going to look towards, you know, you know, employers. That's when I was thinking in college. Like, not, like, doing like, a YouTube as a yeah. career. But, like, yeah, like, I got bullied for it. And, uh... I realized that I was making embarrassing things and I shut down my channel. And I remember like my senior year, um, and band, um, it was all quiet. Everything was quiet because I didn't speak about it or anything. I just kept everything to myself. And I remember like during band camp, they were like doing like these like karaoke, um, songs. 
people would just make up and sing for everybody else. And one kid, it was my girlfriend's um, ex-best friend. He made fun of me. Like, made fun of me. Like, it was like a goodbye senior songs. And brought up my YouTube channel in, like, that part. And it made me, like, so upset. And then, like, I would just, I went yet another year of not making any videos. Because, like, I was, like, I was very worried that, like, someone would find out like that. So I privatized, like, everything. And I know I didn't give anybody a warning, like, that I was doing that on my channel whatsoever, which was wrong of me. But I I just shut everything down. Like, I I didn't want to get made fun of. I was insecure. And it, I don't know. It just made me upset whenever people would put me down like that. I remember one time I was staying up at, like, the – um whiteboard and i was like writing something in my english class i think my sophomore year no it was my freshman year actually it was my freshman year and one of my buddies brought up my channel he was like what's up so and so and like the whole class laughed and the teacher laughed and i was like the most just embarrassing time of my life like and usually like people should like hype you up but like when you're in high school and you don't have a lot of friends like, um, typically most people are just kind of bullied yeah. when it comes to that kind of stuff. But, like, if you're friendly with everybody, everybody supports you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when I was, like, in the band, I didn't want that to even get into the band. And, like, someone found out. And all, like, the eighth graders and the freshmen that I've held that secret from, that night found out that I had one. So, like, I had to privatize literally everything and nobody could find my channel. Man. So... Yeah, I didn't want anybody to figure it out. I just, cause like I was so embarrassed, and then I stopped. And like I said, like back at like the King of Vapors or whatever, um, my buddy was like, "You should bring it back up." I was like, uh, "I don't know." I was like, "I just, yeah, you know, I don't want to get bullied for it again," or like I didn't want to like you know not have as many views. I got like recently these last two videos I got, I've barely got any views. I mean, um, I don't know if it's just like the way I made it. I was racking up above a hundred, like recently so like i know people are gonna say i wouldn't care too much about like you know your views your likes but that's how you right. grow so like that's like what always worries me um but like yeah you brought it up and i was just like i don't know but then like i don't know like these bits and pieces of people saying you should restart like tell me i should restart i don't know it felt like it was just some sort of like way of looking into like the future that that's probably what's gonna happen. Right. So like you know, you know what I'm saying? Like that's why I I made it again, because it felt like right. Because like I was actually like last semester, I was constantly, um, laying in my bed at night, like late at night, and I was just thinking. I was like, do I even want to be in college, or do I even want to be an engineer? Like I'm like, this doesn't feel like something I would be doing long term. Like I stated earlier, I just kept thinking about it. I'm like, what am like, what, what am I doing wrong? What do I want to do? And then I realized like I wanted to be like, like a fitness author. I wanted to be you know a personal trainer, like an online personal trainer. Yeah. That's really what I want to do because like, that's a passion. Like I don't know, like when I got into my freshman year of high school, and one of my buddies introduced me to uh, weight training, fell in love with it. I absolutely loved it. And my max bench, I remember, was 95 pounds, and my face was just purple <laughs> trying to get it up at the time. And, like, yeah, and, like, everybody was gathered around me, like, shout and go. And, like, I don't know, it felt good. And it's just, I was like, I want to keep doing this. And, like, I started, you know, there was a time where, like, I, I injured my back, and then, like, I could, my, my parents wouldn't let me go to the gym and use weights for, like, two years. So I was doing, like, calisthenics at the time. That's why I have experience in calisthenics. And then I went back into weights a little bit my uh, junior year and my senior year. It was mostly, like, my late junior year. But um, I went back into it, and I was just, like, I kind of want to do this again. Because, like, I, I was just, like, I don't know. This, this is fun, and I said I, I think I could make a pretty good living out of it if I did it all the time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I haven't told any of my, my followers this, but I'm wanting, I'm actually right now currently writing a program. Like, like a fitness nice. program. So like, like a, like a book yeah. or. Uh, do you know who Greg O'Gallagher is or any, like any of those big, uh, fitness. I know YouTubers? a few of them. Yeah. Like Bradley yeah. Martin, maybe, you know, like Bradley Martin. Well, like he has like a, um, like a, like not like an app. It's just like a website. You just type in like, you know, your username and password and you go to like your courses and then you like open up a course and then do the workouts in that course. That's what I want to do. I make a book yet. I've been wanting to actually write a book, but um, I'm definitely writing a program right Heck now. Yeah. And I already know the name, but I'm not yeah. going to announce that. I'm just going to just be very vague right now. I just say I'm, I'm already writing out a program. So, okay. and it's probably going to be like, uh, $40 total, but like, I'm going to do 50% off. Like when I first like put it out there, so it'd be 20 bucks for a, a good program. Right. Right. That's, that's yeah. It yeah. Should be. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, but, um, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm planning on wanting to do. Heck yeah. That's dope, bro. And I'm going to write another one for weights when the gym's back open back up. Nice. So. Yeah, I uh, I definitely want to do like a Boldini goes to the gym. Like we can do like a collab like that either on your channel or on mine. Oh, yeah. I, yeah we can do it on yeah. both. Yeah, because I've been like wanting to like collab and do Heck this. Yeah. So I was like thinking maybe I can, you know, take Boulder through one of my workouts at my house. Like because I'm going to get this week my 300 pound weight set and then I'm going to save up again and I'm going to get a bench. So like you and I can do, um, like a, like a chest, um, tricep or like a shorter workout or something Heck like that. Yeah. I'd be down. I'm trying to get chiseled. You yeah, know, like I've I always wanted to be a chiseled boulder. We're, we're moving up, you know? <laughs> a chiseled yeah. Boulder? yeah, absolutely. bro. For sure. And if you need help, like with anything, you can come to me. All right. I'll help you out. I mean, I've been losing weight left and right. Just been walking around eating less. I see that. I just got to build muscle. That's exactly how you lose yeah. weight. Yeah, once these, you know, once I get my stuff in, you can come over and we can make a Heck video. Yeah, dog. I, that sounds kind of tight. Like, I mean, we could do kind of like a, like a skit on my channel with it, and then we could do something like serious for you. Like you could like start like a new series or something. That'd be cool. Okay. Heck yeah, Heck we yeah. can. And um, this upcoming week, I am gonna be doing. You know what steel supplements are? Uh, I've heard of them. Have you seen anything like you know, you know who Dan yeah. Bilzerian is? I think that's his name. Um, yeah, he like takes that stuff all the time. Dang. They're is that products. isn't that like the, so, like, the like, new, a, like, a, like pre workout that's out right now? That uh, Robert Frank was promoting. Yeah, like like the big yeah. hype. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, I'll be um, taste testing them all this upcoming week and seeing how they affect my body during my workouts. Because a lot of people I've realized liked the supplement review from Psychopharma, which was the most like crackhead energy workout that I've ever had in my whole <laughs> life. Um, it. It, yeah, it just it jacked me up. Like I, I didn't feel good on it to be honest with you. Um, it was just like too much caffeine, and there's a lot of it in there. It's like 350 milligrams. Oh, dang. So he said he like the guy said like take a half a scoop at first, but you know my idiot self was like nah, I want I want a full effects for like the the, the yeah. viewers see how they feel. And like there were some workouts it was actually the chest day like where i did my very very first few um decline one-arm push-ups um i i mean that was like the hardest thing i did that day because after that i was focused more on surviving than i was my exercise which is not what you want out of a pre-workout you want like a nice clean smooth energy you don't want something like that's making you like too worried to even um work out because your yeah. heart rate I literally felt like my heart was going to, like, stop Jeez. at a certain point. It was, like, beating. Yeah, it was nasty stuff. Like, I felt like I was walking through 
like needles like my feet my oh, holy felt crap prickly. bro like i'm and i have not had that pre-workout experience in let's see four years i have not had that since four years so that shows you how strong it was Jeez, bro. um my first um pre-workout um it was my freshman year um i was walking in the mall and gnc was they had like these big buff bulky guys out there yeah. you know just like like advertising supplements supplementation and this one guy uh you can tell he was pushy he was like um you know trying to negotiate my mom to buy this pre-workout oh, for me. he knew he knew clearly that i was not 18 because it says on the label uh this is only for like healthy 18 year olds and i which you know most high schoolers don't get, like listen yeah. to that but my mom would have taken that precaution if she would have known. But um, we taste tested like the green apple flavor. It's, it was called Nitroflex, and uh, I was like, "This is amazing. This tastes awesome." I'm like, mom, can we get this? And she's like, "Okay, whatever." <sighs> and I didn't know how much caffeine was in it. It was the same amount as the Psychopharma, 350 Holy milligrams, crap. same amount. And I I didn't know how to like really do it, like take it. I just it says recommended dose um one scoop so it's like oh okay i'll just do one scoop you know like i'm just gonna do the directions i'm gonna follow the directions and so i decided to take it on a wednesday which like this was during like like my weight training year like like i was talking about like i got into weights um we worked out four days a week and we had a rest day on wednesday it was like a rec day where you can play basketball you can play volleyball with people and yeah so i was like I'm going to taste test it and like just test it out and see what it's like on a day in which I'm not doing intense lifting. So I was drinking it like on my way to school on the oh, school God. bus. And then I get into like, <laughs> yeah. And I didn't have anything to eat. So it was going to oh, kick yeah. in quick. So like I sat down in class first period before we like went to the locker rooms and all of a sudden, it literally felt like blood was going down my skull and like intense focused on edge. Like I've never experienced in my whole life. And I looked over at my friend Dag and it's like, dude, I'm on crack. Like, this is like, this is crack. And he's, he's like, he's like, bro, you'll be okay. I was like, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> so I don't like yeah. stuttering. I gotta, I gotta, uh, I gotta run, I gotta run this off. So I, I'm the first one. I bolt to the locker room and I change and like, it was like, and I was the first, I sprint to the gym. I run like five to seven laps around the gym. And then I did 20 military push ups, And then I realized, Oh my God, I'm not okay. <laughs> I am not okay. Like my heart's still in this. Like it was like intent. I, I, I remember it clearly. And I was like, Hey, uh, Teacher, can I go to like the locker room and get my water? And I was like, I need to sit down for a second. And I did. <laughs> and she's like, Yeah, go ahead. Dang. It was awful. And like, that's the same exact feeling I felt with Psychopharma. And that was the strongest thing I've ever taken, um, by far. It's the strongest supplement I've ever had. Heck yeah. Would you do it again? Half the scoop if I was offered. Um, it even says start with a half a scoop to assess your tolerance. Like the most I can do at a time I know is like 300 milligrams. I mean, there'd be like times where I take uh, Kino Octane. I'll take a couple scoops of it. It's like 300 milligrams. Just because there'd be like some days where like, you know, I'm so exhausted. Like I can't even get out of bed. Yeah. To like have the motivation. So I'll take a couple scoops of that. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> But like it's not like a bad, yeah. It's it's not a bad like energy though. Um, it has um, L-theanine in it, and that like works synergistically with uh, caffeine. Oh, yeah. And uh, and yeah, and it gives you no jitters, no crash like the caffeine crash. And it's like it's the cleanest energy source I've ever had, other than just you know drinking coffee. Even though that's the most acidic thing I've ever had, but. You know. Heck yeah. Well, uh, Josiah 
or Josia, I still don't know how to pronounce his name. He asked, what's the first game you ever played? This was like, he asked for every kill. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, you can tell him yours. Okay, I asked right. about mine. Like, I, the first game I really remember playing on console was WWE Smackdown Shut Your Mouth for PlayStation 2. But, yeah. Oh, really? But uh, I think my... I remember playing Spyro a lot on the PlayStation 1 at my grandma's house. And then, like, when I got a Game Boy, I played this Jimmy Neutron game forever. So it's like one of those three was definitely my first. Probably Spyro, to be honest. Those are good For games. Real. I would say my first game, I think it was Rampage on GameCube. Oh, yeah. Cube. And I, that was my favorite game. Like, I would invite my my buddy Billy over, and he would be, like, the wolf, and I would be, like, the bear. <laughs> and, like, or whatever it was. An ape? I don't know what it was. And, like, we would, it was the funnest game I ever played. And that's what got me into video games, like, playing video Heck games. Yeah, that's dope. For sure. Nice. <laughs> what was your uh, what was your first game console? Um, GameCube. And then it was PS2. Um, I never owned the original Xbox. I owned the 360, but I never owned the original Xbox. Um, Xbox One and PS4. That's what I'm, like, leading nice. up to. I had the Wii, actually. I'll take that back. I had the Wii. Um, that was my second console. Yeah, I think that was my second. I like to play a lot of Wii Sports right. on it. Wii Sports Resort is unmatched. For sure. You just can't get better than Resort. Oh, like, yeah. No, I can't. Like the 100, 100 no, pin bowling, bro. Bet. That's the best. Yeah, it hits different. Right. I mean, you just... Who was that, uh, that one character? Matthew? Is that what his name was? On what? The black wrestler or the black <laughs> just the athlete on we uh sports. Matt. It was Matt. I I have no idea what his name was. It it probably could have been Matt, yeah. It's just like this guy is like as about as powerful as Shaggy or something like that. I saw some meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh funny. my god. Oh. Alright, so uh Yeah, I'm looking at Looking at what? What did so you say? As I'm looking at like that, um, that video, and my ex looks just like absolutely miserable in that yeah. thumbnail. Absolutely miserable. Oh. I was thinking to myself like during that. I I really wish, bro. I never took her with us. Yeah, I mean, I it really was kind of awkward. The vibes were off. When yeah. She was around. Also, your uh, your webcams froze. The vibes were off. Yeah. It is. Are you sure? Yeah, it's fr well. Yeah, it's frozen on the stream and frozen on Discord. Saying I'm speaking on here right now. Huh. Um, let me disconnect and reconnect. Maybe with my, maybe with my connection. Yeah, try disconnecting and reconnect and see if okay. that works. How about now? Nope. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we good, we good. All right, sick. All right. So, uh, you ready to react to this video? Yeah. I saw bits and pieces of it the other day just to, you know, make sure. But, like, there was part, like, I didn't see most of it. All right. So, I'm actually a little, like, I'm a little prepared to see what uh, what's being brought to the table today. Oh, yeah. Today. So, for those who don't know, me and Alec actually t met a fan at uh, our mall. When was this? 2015? 2016. Dang. That's crazy. Still, like... Yeah. I mean, it, or it feels ago. like longer, though, for some reason. I think it's just because I don't have my beard. Yeah. It's just... Yeah, you're beardless in my man. It's, yeah. It's, it's not the move. Like, you... I'm glad you have your beard. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you have a beard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me know when to uh, play right. it. Well, I mean, I can play it. It'll play. It should play automatically for you. Yeah. Oh, it should. All okay. Right. 
Well, here goes nothing. What's up, guys? My name is Boulder, and welcome to just a little bit of a video. Now, I know I haven't, you know, uploaded in a couple of days, but hopefully after this video, I'll be able to do something. Um, well, anyway, in this video, this is like after everything just happened. So, me and my friend Alec or Zero Gaming HD. Oh yeah, it's playing back into your mic. Some of you guys probably heard of. Uh, you know, we got a message from this this That's guy that goes game. to my school, and you know, I know him, but we haven't talked in like four years. And you know, he messaged me and asked if we could meet him, and Dude. he said that. He loves watching I don't even know what I was stuff, trying to so do said, yeah. in my videos back then. Like I just together. like walked around my and room and talked for ten minutes. Out. I mean, you had a pretty sick intro from what it's looking like. Too. Yeah. Well, I didn't have flares on the words. It would have been better with flares. <laughs> I agree. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Dude, that was so weird. He was like on something. I don't know. I don't know if he still watches my videos or not. Dude, I... Oh, there I am. What the hell was I wearing? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Oh. oh my god, dude. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what is he gonna do? Yeah, I understand why she left me. No, nah, bro, nah. I'm yeah. <laughs> What was I wearing? The striped sweater. What was the haircut? Oh, oh my god, dude. I just got back to you. Wait, Ethan, turn around. I want to see the button. I pooped Dude, I think I posted a picture of that on Instagram, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Oh, I remember. Man. I know. <laughs> At least that's what he should go into. Right. Yeah, when, when we first saw him, I thought he was like on crack. Oh. It was just like. <laughs> not, he's going up to random people and just hey, showing him. Hey. I know, dude. He had he had no. <laughs> I, I don't now? even know. He's a savage. Right, yeah, no, no filter. He's a savage. <laughs> yeah, cool. yeah, he had a bike. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See ya. All right, well, that's the end of this video. So, I mean, literally, that was like, thank you guys for watching. well, like 45 uh, seconds probably of just awesome. clips at no, the mall. Uh, <laughs> message me, ask me if uh, there's a way we could meet I don't know up why with I was him. Like, we did, humping, which, as you guys saw, humping, was uh, twerking in the air. I, mean, no I sense. don't know. I mean, how old were, you, were we in that? I think I was like 15 or 16, something yeah, like that. I think I, I might have been 16 at the time. I don't know what yeah. day was this posted. Yeah, I think you were 16. Yeah, you had to have been 16. I was definitely younger. Yeah, that's that's crazy, dude. Like, I can't believe that's the one video we have like stored of together. Like, I mean, you're barely even in it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, no, I barely was even in that. Like, I was like watching. I was like, dang, I'm only in bits and pieces. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was so awkward at the time. Like, I wasn't I, used to filming in public. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, me neither. I'm still not. Like, whenever I go walk around my neighborhood, I usually stop at the Jehovah Witness Church up yeah. on the hill because, like, I don't want people seeing me with my phone in my face and, like, me talking to myself. I mean, it's awkward. I don't know why people yeah, do that. I mean, I've, I've gotten over it now. It took, like, five years, but I'm finally over that. Thing. Like, it was just, I don't know. I, I think it's mostly people around here, they just don't understand it still like it's well, I just never yeah. see it which I mean it's a small place exactly so like I understand you see it all the time in Columbus oh really Damn. oh yeah like whenever I go to Columbus I see people just vlogging <laughs> like I'll go, I'll go to like Easton of course not now but like when I did I would go to Easton people were just vlogging Dang. that's like private property like people get kicked out for filming there yeah, yeah, Roman Out would try to have like a meet up there and he was like vlogging and then he got like the security guard came over and like almost took his camera and stuff. Yeah. Wow. I mean that was like years ago. I don't know if it's still 
how are you supposed to know that? Though? I don't know. Yeah. You, know what I'm saying? Like, you would think there'd be like signs or something, like, but yeah, it doesn't say anywhere though. Like right. that's the thing. I guess if like you make a big scene and you get caught, I mean, that's up on you. But like, if you're just like, you know, you have like your phone like on the side occasionally, or you're vlogging your food yeah, and like saying, Hey, this food tastes pretty good. And you just kind of, I don't know, make it like clear, like, don't like do it too much in there. You probably won't get caught. Right. Which that's how it is in any place that doesn't allow filming. As long as, long as right. you're just low key about it. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I was, yeah, there was this roller coaster on Santa Monica pier. They told me not to film. And like, I had my GoPro, like my little tiny GoPro on me. And like, I just held it down. Didn't even, they didn't see it. And I filmed the entire ride. No one said a word. It was. Dang. Yeah. yeah, you just gotta be right. careful with it. Yeah, California is like a dream place for me to film. Like, I've wanted to go there and like meet a lot of like the fitness YouTubers yeah. that go down there. I've been wanting to like meet like Bradley Martin, uh, Grego Gallagher. He goes down there from Toronto. Um,. I've also wanted to meet like I've been watching Greg Doucette lately. I don't know who I don't know if you know who he is. I don't think so. Uh, he's he's like a new fitness YouTuber that I've seen, and he he's based okay. Think of like the Eminem of the fitness industry. Doesn't care, calls everybody out. Dang. He just doesn't care, and he says like if something doesn't work or not. You know who like V shreds? Nah, I mean like the. The uh, one fitness YouTuber I actually still kind of watch is Lex Fitness, just because he used to do beard stuff. Oh, yeah. okay. But, yeah, there's just this one guy he called out. I thought it was funny. And, like, I started watching his stuff, and I learned a lot from Heck him. Yeah. I mean, he even you know, put down one of my other favorite fitness authors. I was like, you know what? I ain't mad because he's kind of <laughs> like <that>. So, like... <laughs> like... It was like, like it was Grego Gallagher and Greg Doucette, two Gregs fighting each other. It was like a battle. They kept going at each other. It was funny. Like it would think of like MGK and Eminem. Just that's Damn. how it was. Like you still love it. You, you know you still love MGK a little bit like at the end, but like you don't necessarily like him because you know like Eminem roots yeah. him. But like it, it was just an, an ongoing battle. Exactly. And of course, Greg set one because. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to meet them down in Cali. I mean, and work yeah. out with them. I mean, dude, like. So. I mean, I I know I say it all the time, but like California really does change your life. Like if you've never been there, once you go there, you don't want to come back. Like it's just, it's terrible coming back. I've heard a lot about. Yeah. That. It's just. Yeah, and then you come back to Ohio. Like, yeah, wow. Well, what do we yeah. have? potholes uh heroin addicts and right. uh nothing special i think the only thing that's so special about ohio is the basket that's like 30 minutes yeah which ohio. like isn't even really a building oh. anymore because it's caving in so like it yeah like caving in i thought it just like no nah, like the the floor on the inside there's like a sinkhole under it i think I'm not I'm not a hundred percent on that. that. Like I'm not saying it's a hundred percent. That's just what I've heard. That's why they don't let people in there anymore. I mean that's understandable. That's a safety issue. They said they're gonna make it like a hotel. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what I heard. They're gonna make the basket. The a basket hotel. in. She, oh my God. <laughs> Someone flew an airplane through it too. No. Huh? Yeah, like the... The um, handles on top? What's it called? Yeah, the handles on the top. They flew right in between. What? The time. Did it? Yeah, didn't wreck it or anything. Yeah, that's dope. Flew the plane right through. And that's... That's like Thomas Shelby energy right, right there. Did, did nobody like, film this? Like, is there a video of it somewhere? No. I don't... I think it's, it was a long time ago. I don't know if it's... Like, there's a video of it, but yeah, I'm sure you can find one. Man... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy though. But yeah. Wow. Absolutely. <laughs> Alright, dog. We've been streaming for an hour. You uh got any other topics? 
thinking. How often do you like exercise? Um, I mean, I don't really make time for exercise as much as I should. Like I'll walk around at night for like an hour or two, just literally do laps around my neighborhood mm-hmm. and stuff. But as far as like lifting or like actual hard cardio and stuff, I do it like probably maybe twice a month, which isn't good. But That's fair. I, I just made it a habit. That's why I was asking if you have had made it a habit before. I did for a little bit. Like me and Jonah used to go to the gym a lot, but then we just stopped going. <laughs> and ever since then, it's just eh. And like I said, got to – What'd you say you cut off right there? Uh, me and Jonah used to go to the. Like you and Jonah went. To the yeah, gym. we just like stopped going after a while for some reason, but you know, then it's like I got my gym membership and then everything closed, so just waiting on that. <laughs> yeah, you were like having like the hope to going to the gym and just like, nope, COVID nineteen gonna shut right. you down. Like I'm planning on going like probably three times a week to the gym and then like, yeah. You should. That's exactly how many times a week I yeah. go. It's like. Yeah, you don't need to go five or six days a week. Yeah. You don't. I mean, like, that just makes you more prone to injury. Right. So, I don't know. Like, I don't – I find that lifting heavy to the point where, like, your nervous system has to, like, recover. I feel like that's a better way of putting on muscle. And you just slowly grow over time. I put on 24 Holy pounds. Holy crap. So, like, yeah. I put on 24 pounds. Um – because I was just eating so much. I was like eating a ridiculous amount. Now I'm doing what's called a body recomposition where like you eat in a calorie deficit on your rest days and you eat in a calorie surplus on your training days. So like it's a slower process of putting on muscle, but you're also burning fat at the same time. Heck yeah. And I just recently got like a, um, like a food scale I just ordered one. Of course, Amazon's backed up right now. Then it's taking them forever to like send out shipping stuff and orders. Yeah. But like, I ordered one from there. It's not coming till like fourteenth, like the fourteenth. Huh. And like that, that's that food scale is so accurate. Like if you're trying to like weigh chicken or your eggs, that makes your calorie counting a lot easier. And I mean, that's how you lose weight. It's all about the calories. People um, make it seem like just because you are eating healthy, that will somehow make you lose weight. And now it's uh, it's more of a calorie quantity than a food quality. So like when people like look at my snap stories and I have like those incredible dinners that I've been making. The yeah, last I've been days, seeing some of them. <laughs> um, yeah, I got a cookbook and it's amazing. And people ask me like, how do I eat like that? and lose weight or put on muscle and not you know put on you know fat by doing it they're just like how do you do that i'm like it's just all about how many calories you're intaking you can enjoy your life and eat what you want when you're wanting to lose weight i mean like the the way i lost weight was chipotle pop chips and chocolate that's literally how i lost like 11 pounds one time um yeah and it all just fit into my calories you know and I find that like I was kind of doing it wrong because I don't think I was getting enough protein in when I was losing weight. Um, just because like I, I got so like small and leaned out that like I didn't really have too much muscle definition. And I realized, oh, I, I haven't really like tried to push myself to like uh, bench 225 for example i haven't gotten bigger or stronger i thought being you know skinny is what was going to make you look good but you actually have to fill out with muscle and then lean down that's yeah how i had to approach it i feel that i i probably should have tried to build up a little bit more muscle because like i've noticed I, i'm losing a little bit of muscle mass but i've lost i think a little over 60 pounds since high school so like yeah, you probably like lost a little bit of fat and a little bit of muscle yeah. in the way. Since you probably weren't doing too much like working out, like you said. Yeah. So, that's probably why you think that could have been the case. Right. 
I don't know. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely I, I need to look into a more balanced diet because, like, I mean, I'll eat a healthy breakfast, but then as the day goes on, it's just like I, like, after work is bad, dude. I'll I'll eat so much after work, but like I'm not gaining anything from oh, it, but it's just not good for my health. <laughs> I agree. No, like uh, yesterday I went outdoor dashing and I made like a hundred bucks in a night and I, the whole time I didn't have any food in my stomach. So like I was getting progressively hungrier, hungrier and hungrier. And ev- like once I picked up someone's red lobster, I knew my body was going to freak out because all I smelt was the fish and the crab. And I was like, Oh my God, I'm hungry. The shrimp smells incredible. Yeah. I, I really, I really just wanted to dip my finger in there and just, <laughs> just eat it, just to satiate myself. Maybe just for an extra half an hour. It was so, it smelled so good. And like, I went home and I ate two thousand and eighty calories. Holy crap! All in one sitting. I was so hungry. I didn't have really anything in my body the whole day except a banana and a protein shake. Dang. So I was really hungry. I had like. A burger, a double cheeseburger, um, a side of vegetables, a serving of cottage cheese, and a side of macaroni salad, all in one sitting. Cheese, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was so hungry. Where? And then I had chocolate. Defense what kind of there. chocolate? Um, it was like Mr. Good Bar. Oh, My girlfriend nice. got me it. Like it's like it's like a nut. I and love Mr. Good bar. Bars. Those are so good. Thank you. It was hurting my teeth though last night, which made me mad. I was like, I better not get. See, I think I know what you're talking about. It's kind of oh. like that. I don't even know how to really describe it, but it's just like. It, it's like it feels painful, but yeah, it's not. It's kind of like when you breathe that specific way to where it like hits your teeth that that, you know, you get like that weird like wincing pain, yes. but like in your molars. Yeah. Yes. It's. Yes, that's exactly yeah. what I feel. Like. I, I, that's why it's I terrible. can't eat much chocolate anymore. It's it's sad, but like I just I can't. <laughs> um, I would just go for like um dark chocolate. Like um, I found that uh, dark chocolate with nuts in it, for example, um, it tastes a little bit better in my opinion, yeah. but it also doesn't hurt my teeth. Huh. I've realized that dark chocolate doesn't hurt my teeth as much as milk chocolate. So like I have like all this chocolate from like Easter. In my fridge right now because it's hot up here. I don't want it to melt. But like I have like this big giant Reese cup egg, and I'm looking at it and I'm debating if I even want to eat that because I know it's probably gonna hurt my teeth after I'm yeah, done eating. It's a Reese egg, man. Like it's yeah. it Reese. <laughs> I love Reese's though. We'll agree. I love Reese cups, so I'm probably gonna eat it and not feel any shame. But that's of course gonna be like on a day where I, I can eat a lot of food. I can't eat as much as I did. Yeah. But yeah. Dang. I thought I was the only one with that pain in my teeth. It's like worried because no, no, I mean, like I, I go to the dentist and they tell me my teeth are perfect, like there's really nothing wrong with them. And then I eat chocolate. I'm just like yeah. cringing. It's I don't even know. It feels like you know your teeth want to come out, but like they're right. not. Yeah, it's just like I don't know. I've figured out how like calories work so much. That like I know what I want out of a diet, and I know how to fit my calories in. I know how to count them. I mean, I can do that all now and enjoy what I eat and then lose weight. Like people think it's like, oh, as you get older, your metabolism is you know going to sl- start slowing down. Which yeah, it does, but like not like in a significant amount. Yeah. And like I've seen like fifty. To 80 year olds jacked ripped just shredded like you can see like an eight pack going and then you ask them you know what they're doing and they literally will just tell you calories in calories out yeah like it just it all comes down to calories it like it's just it's an energy source so like of course when you know you're putting too much in you're actually going to be increasing your metabolism like if you start eating like in a surplus your metabolism has no choice but to increase in order to like burn off all the food that you just ate. Right. And then like, as you're wanting to lose weight, it, you'll burn a lot for the first like few months. And then all of a sudden you'll hit like a plateau and your body's like, Oh my God, I'm starving. Uh, and that's what like a refeed day will come in. Like just eating like a lot of food 
so that your body knows it's okay and then you can keep losing weight but after a certain point your metabolism will just slow down you would have to like eat like at a normal person for like the first i don't know four weeks after huh. my computer just said hey there's an error <laughs> what did you drop that did that uh my oh, phone that's <laughs> weird I mean, it just kind of scraped the side of the tower, but, like, it wasn't, like, anything, like, major. <laughs> it's just really weird that I did the same time yeah. that my phone fell. So. But, yeah, like, I just, I love eating just big, giant New York strip steaks with, like, a baked potato and or a sweet potato. And, I just, yeah, I just love you know, eating foods that people think are just going to um, put weight on you. Like people, yeah, like I said before, like people think like, um, you know, you have to eat healthy in order to lose weight. No, I mean, even if you eat healthy, you could still put on weight. Right. I mean, it just like you can eat too much healthy food and like you'll start putting on weight. People th- and like I see people drink like protein shakes like all the time. And it's just like, you do realize you can like not do that and you don't have to like end up binge eating later, not losing that weight. You can just eat what you like and lose the weight and keep the muscle you have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Which, I mean, that's what most bodybuilders will tell you. Like, it's not what you eat, it's the portion control behind it. Like, as long as you just eat a smaller mm-hmm. amount of whatever that is, it's like really can't lose <laughs> like... not at all like I, mean, I find what I do is enjoyable and like I feel like people like I said like I'm making that program it's like I feel like people need to enjoy their life and without having to be too caught up in yeah. fitness and they can eat what they like they have a good body I mean it's just yeah, I mean, I, I really want to change people's lives in that way. Heck yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I, 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 I eat whatever I want as long as I track my calories. Oh, yeah. that, that's a thing that I definitely have a problem with. Like, I just, I can't, I don't know how to track calories. Like, I just eat and I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, that's fine. Like, <laughs> it's kind of bad, but... <laughs> I mean, it all it does is come down to the numbers. So, like, if you're wanting to lose weight, typically uh, 12 times your body weight is a calorie deficit for you. And you just basically eat that amount of calories a day and you'll lose weight. Um, if you're wanting to just kind of maintain your body weight, 15 times your body weight is the amount of calories you would eat. Surplus, you just add an additional 500 to the 15 times your body weight. And you just basically read the labels on the back and you just add it all up. Yeah. Sometimes stuff doesn't have labels but, for me to add stuff up. That's where I get lost. Oh, yeah. No, I agree. I, I've run into that same issue. It's like I eyeball it. It's, it's called the eyeball method where, like, if you're not really certain at, like, the amount of calories, but, like, you can kind of approximate it. Like, let's say, like, I get, like, a burger, okay? Like a big giant burger and a side of fries um i can guesstimate that each beef patty is probably worth 480 calories um the cheese is probably worth 50 the buns are probably 150 um i, I kind of neglect like the vegetable part of it because that's super low calories um the potatoes i could say that's uh 400 grams so 415 415 calories for 412 calories and i just kind of like i kind of pinpoint it and like if I think there's too much fries, I can just take some out. Like if I'm not at a restaurant, like if I see too much fries, I'll sometimes take off the fries, like a certain amount of them, and wrap them up in a napkin that I think is going to be going over my calories. And I just kind of put it to the side because I know I'll eat it if I didn't do that. So I pushed it to the side. And it's nothing against like the company at all. It's just like I know if I eat that, I'm not going to lose weight. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's just like I kind of guess maybe at times if I don't have like a nutritional fact like label, I guess, and that's all you can do right. at times. 
So have you ever, or are you still now, a Logan Pauler or Jake Pauler? Um, how about you? What do you, what, okay. what are your thoughts so, on there was a time I, I was a fan of Logan Paul. This was like before his whole oopsie in Japan and stuff. You know, like I, I genuinely enjoyed his vlogs. Like they were good. They were entertaining in my opinion, but I stopped right. watching like a few months before all that went down. So, but no, I've never, never liked Jake Paul. It's... I, I've always found him. Yeah. Fishy, you know, He's he's never been like the likable person. He kind of reminds me of Scrappy from right. Scooby Doo. Um, very annoying. Um, Logan Paul, I did enjoy his videos. Um, I liked his vlogs and stuff like you said. And then I kind of stopped watching him after Vine, pretty much. And then I found out, oh, he just made fun of a dead person who committed suicide in the yeah. forest. Like, oh, that does not really surprise me, despite, you know, you know, me lacking the knowledge. And then, like, after that, it just seemed like he just kept progressively making more mistakes. Yeah, I mean, part of me, yeah, part you know of me I mean? thinks he did it to just get more exposure, but then part of me is like, maybe he's just panicked, like, I... <laughs> yeah, probably yeah, didn't even like... think about it at all. It wouldn't surprise me. Right. I've I've been more of a KSI. Oh yeah, fan. KSI always. Like when it came to that yes. Stuff. He was so fun. I, I remember watching him, um, back when, God knows when, such a long time ago, like when I was like in fifth or sixth grade, he was on, and like, I started watching his stuff. Do you know? Remember who I Sexy was? I Sexy TV. It sounds familiar. I don't think I ever watched him though. Or. or X- or expert thing. Uh, yeah, I know him. That's him. That that was oh, the for old real? sexy. And he would make comedy. Damn. Yeah. I Do well, like, I always knew KSI legitimate T with his FIFA funnies, but I'd, I guess I never put two and two together with Expert Thief. That's Expert Thief was like I sexy. It was like, and I I was like so depressed when he stopped making like comedies, like little skits. He started just making like gaming yeah. videos. And I think he started uh, making like rap songs. And that's I think that's like what a lot of people. Oh are doing yeah. Now. And congrats, by the way, like on your um, uh, song. That was pretty. Thank good. you, I thank it. you. Yeah, that was a good song. <laughs> I was like, dang, I can't even compare. Like, I was like, this guy's com- he's a good competitor. Not that I would compete with you. I mean, you've been doing this for going on eight years this what? year. Yeah. Eight years. I started back when I think I was like in, going into sixth grade, and then I stopped my sophomore year. So it was like six or seven years, something like that. Nice, nice. It's it's definitely changed. Yeah, it happened seven years. everything's yeah, changed. It's it's getting wild. With uh, with twenty sixteen, the but, whole yeah. apocalypse stuff like that, like that's kind of where it got rocky for me for a minute. But then just kept going. Just a bunch of ads. Yeah. yeah, I. Yeah, I don't know. I just at first I felt good that I didn't do a YouTube. Like after a couple of years, I was like, I feel good. I can. I'm changing my life around. And, like, of course, I got out of high school, so, like, there's new people I started meeting. So, like, nobody really fully knew my past. So, like, um, it like I felt good starting fresh, but then I was just like, ah, heck with it. I'll just open my channel back up again and restart. And as soon as I did that, I got a lot of, like, support from, like, friends. And, like, I don't know if, like, they – we're like, wow, he pushed past his insecurity that he never wanted to mention. Um, and he's made it again. And, like, people will like what I put up now. And, I don't know, it feels exactly how I want to put things That's how up. it should be. I, I just, I, yeah, I put it into perspective. And I was just like, this is what I, this is what I like. Yeah. This is fun. And I got sponsored by three big companies. I don't know if you knew that. I think I, got, I saw um, your email for one of them the, on Snapchat. I think. 
Yeah. Yeah. I got um, from the Great North Apparel. Like, if you click the link, I think, my I think I've now, hit them up trying there. to get some free stuff one time and they never hit me back. Yeah. Really? I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's who that was. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, and I got in with like no issue. And now um, my viewers can get 30% off of anything on the store. Nice. Um, and it, I get commissioned back for it, obviously. And I. I'm now, I'm also sponsored with a um a supplement company called FNX. I just bought one of their testosterone boosters, nice. um, and I've been sponsored with an affiliate with Nature Backs. I love their shirts. I love their shirts like in dearly. Just, they're super comfortable. I'm saving up and getting myself like a T-shirt from them because I knew like it's gonna be summer. I want something nice and loose to like be comfortable in and wear. Right. Um. And I was like, and I know it's going to be too hot to wear one of my long sleeve ones. So it's, and you get 20% off. Like if you use my Heck code, yeah. so it's like 20. Yeah. The, the supplements is uh 15% off the great North is 30% and nature back is 20. Nice. So like, yeah, I'm just trying to help my viewers out. Like with like pricing, if they ever want to get into it. Me. That's how I am with Mix. It's just an affiliate program. Get ten percent off with my code Boulder Seven. If you, you know, anybody out there is. <laughs> uh. Did anybody like um, send you a question or anything? Um, I don't see a question, but Pyro Zane was in here talking smack on KSI. But he said Ohio Gang was good, so. You're serious. Yeah, I don't know. He says he can't handle KSI. Not sure why. KSI is the boy. Yeah, he is. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I mean, he's, you know, like if I had to choose between him and Logan Paul, I would definitely choose. Yeah, definitely. By yeah. far. He whooped him twice, right? I no, the first one was a draw, but the second one, he, you know. Like oh yeah. KSI took it the second one. Yeah. He he took the heat oh, in the yeah. crown. I mean, you can't argue with the guy. Like, I mean, he's a world champion now. Like, I mean, that's no, like, it's can't. crazy. And now he's making rap songs. For real. I mean, he had a uh, trippy red on his song. What was that? I forget what it's called now. But yeah, like he's just collabing with like these bigger artists and it's it's cool to see like you know someone who's made yeah, hey, like bro. I don't know. I've been watching them for like you know five, six years now. Same. Right? I'm proud of them. Yeah, I'm really proud of them. Um, and like that's like one of my biggest things is like I want to grow with someone like on YouTube, Heck like yeah. you. Like you and I have the same interest. We have the same compassion, entertaining people, helping people, or just sort of being a funny, you know, entertainment. Right. Like I, I want to grow with someone. Heck yeah. Because then we could like look back and think. Dang, we really did this. Exactly. It's it's all about the empire. We really we really got here. Right. That's what I like about YouTube. Yeah, it's just it like an like, endless sure. like time vault because you can always go back and look at the start and just watch it from the beginning. Yeah. It's just sick. I was looking at my my private videos, like I privatized. And I'm just like, wow. <laughs> um, there was and and a lot of them weren't actually like terrible. Um, I mean, of course, there was the cringy ones where it was just like clickbait, totally. But like the um, the regular ones, I was like, wow, this is really good. I don't know why I stopped. And like, and like, it just kind of brings that nice nostalgia back. Right. I mean, I, I'm definitely pumped you know? that you're back grinding on videos and stuff. You know, it's pretty cool. Oh, same I mean, with you, bro. You know, I. It's weird, dude. It's like I met so many people through this, but like. Everybody stopped making videos like after a while. Like I'll I'll have like a group of friends I make oh, yeah. videos with, and then they stop making for a while, and then I kind of do my own thing, find somebody else, and then they stop, and it's just like what what's going on? But yeah, no, I completely understand. Yeah, I, that's why. I mean, I had a reason to quit, but like it wasn't like, um, like I ended right. it forever. See, that's the thing that sucks. Like, when, when I got bullied there for a little bit, I deleted my videos instead of privatizing them. 
because I was so young at the I didn't know what privatized was. I didn't know that that means nobody oh, else yeah. could see it. I just deleted all of them so like, I can never go watch those again. And I deleted like a hundred and some videos. Like yeah. Wow. It's a big chunk. <laughs> that is a big chunk. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. Like, like I got I surpassed like I think two hundred thousand views or something like that. And you know, my dad one day was just like, "Hey, you know, delete that stuff off of your um uh your account because that's gonna get you in trouble." And I was like. I mean, Dad, that's like over 200,000 views, and I don't want to lose over 2,000 subscribers because I had 2,000 at the time. I had like 2,100 um, subscribers, and I lost like over 100 Jeez. of them. And yeah, I think like over 130 people stopped following me after that point. So like, I was like, I don't want to have to like just delete my entire channel. So I, I privatized everything. And then it helped me out because like I came back again refreshed and knowing how to edit and I like changed everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like it gave me a nice head start back into it again. Right. So, so like, how, how yeah. did you start making videos at first? Like I know you did gaming videos, but like, was there like, what equipment did you use back then? Um, when I first started making YouTube videos, it was like, um, my uh my computer webcam and i would record like it was choppy videos and then i started using the time my ipod i remember so like i was i'm so old to say that but like i have an, i had an ipod i would record Heck from yeah. and i would make like action uh clips or like comedy clips and yeah, just stupid clips that I would make, and I would put like these like cool like effects in there. Like I would like shoot like a fake gun, yeah. and like it would show the clips coming out of you know like the bullets going out, the clips coming out, and you know people like getting shot at, bloody. I thought it was cool. Heck yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I used yeah I used an iPod for a while, and then I was like, oh yeah, I did say that I was gonna make gaming videos on here, so uh, I got this one. Um, piece of equipment. It was called like a a pinnacle or something like that. Huh. Um, it was like a white round. It was think of like a really really bad Android Elgato. <laughs> think how bad that yeah. is. Okay, so like that's what I got, and I started recording videos on it, and like I had like this big giant like singing microphone. You know, as I was talking to it, instead of like a professional, like, you know, conversation, like the blue snowball, um, I had like this very big, chunky, like singing microphone and I put, um, the pop filter around it, but it still sounded poppy every time I talk into it <laughs> and it was awful quality. And I was thinking about getting a, is it, what was it called? An HDMR? Uh, HD PVR. I forget what that was. Yeah. yeah HD PVR. Yeah, I was thinking about getting one of those, and then I heard, like, a lot of, like, negative reviews from it, like, how it would, like, kind of just crash down, or, like, you would have to restart yeah. it, so I didn't get that, I just got the regular Elgato HD, that's what it's called, yeah, Elgato Gaming HD, I got that, I started making videos, and then I got the Blue Snowball, and I was still making, you know, videos, like, on this, like, little laptop, that didn't have much, you know, capability of being able to hold all of that information stored from like the game that yeah. I recorded. So, um, cause it would make the videos choppy, like laggy as if like it, it was not good. And so I just, um, got a new, um, another laptop hoping that would work. I was like, no, this is not working either. <laughs> Like, my first laptop was a Toshiba laptop, and it didn't have much memory on yeah. it at all. So, like, then I got uh, an HP. I mean, it had four gigabytes worth of, like, Oh, RAM. yeah. But, like, I didn't – it was awful. <laughs> you know, and it, and it wasn't able to, um, you know, record the videos rather than, like, being nice and smooth. It was, like, it didn't have enough gigahertz in it either. 
you have to have like 2.8 gigahertz in order to yeah. run an Elgato. I had like um, 1.4. Oh, it was nah. Terrible, terrible quality. It was Dang. awful. So then I eventually got a Cyborg um, tower, and I got a BenQ gaming monitor, and then I also got the Elgato HD Pro. It, like it, you put it inside the tower. Oh dang! I didn't know you had the Pro. Dang. Oh yeah, I got the Pro a after a while. Jelly. <laughs> and yeah. A little jelly. Yeah. It's nice though. I, yeah. know I got the uh, the 60s. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that one was yeah. good as well. But the Pro, like it was oh, nice. Yeah. Um. Grab that, and that was basically all the recording equipment I got. Oh, I got a Corsair uh, K70 Cherry MX Red, blue lit keyboard, and a I think it's a Death Adder Razor. Nice. Heck yeah, bro. But yeah, I mean, I got all that equipment, and I just dropped. Yeah. (laughs) So much. I mean, that tower was six hundred dollars. It was ridiculous how much money that was. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, it's not like a Razer one that's like over $5,000 for a laptop, but... Right. You know. I think most people started out with an iPod. Like, people that are, like, just now starting to come up. Like, I feel like everybody at least had one video on their channel with an iPod Touch. Like... At least one. Guaranteed. Like, the people who've been on here for the longest. I had an iPod 4. Yep. Such an old phone, yeah. iPod. Um, you remember the times where like you would like have like the DVD, like not the DVD, the CD players, and you take them to school and you would plug your headphones into them, like those old like '90s headphones. Yeah. I mean, I remember having those. I had a um, it wasn't an iPod. It was like a smaller like little music MP3 player. It was something like that. Was there a? Sc- it was made from Apple. Oh, like the, uh, was it an iPod Shuffle? Mm. Did it, it had a screen on it? Mm. It literally looked like a flash drive, and you would click and skip your songs with it. Huh. Yeah, I had that, and I I would plug it into there, like my headphones into there. But then, like, I, like we're growing up, and it's just, like this more of this better technology is coming our right. way. I feel like a boomer when I, I say know. that. I mean, it it really has. It's crazy how our childhood, just how much technology has, you know, advanced over the last like ten years. <laughs> like, yeah. And like, I was telling my little brother the other day, like how, like, cause we we're walking around the neighborhood, and I was telling him about how. Oh, yeah, me and my buddies, we uh, used to go around ding-dong ditching. And he was just like, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> and you don't, you don't know what ding-dong ditching is? And then I kind of understood why. I was like, oh, okay. Well, times have changed, for one. And two, like, if you did that now, like, if you start to learn, do uh, ding-dong ditching right now, chances are someone's going to come out with a gun and probably shoot you if they right. find you. So it's super dangerous to do mm-hmm. it now. Like my parents, maybe, my parents maybe stopped doing it after a certain point because they were worried about that. But like, I, I at least can appreciate that I was able to do things right. like that. I also got like an air horn and go up to people's houses and like oh, blow man. it, knock on their door as hard as I could, and sprint back. Me and my friends like on my like birthday party nights. Dang. It was, we're bad. We had like a bonfire. We did that stuff all the yeah. time. It was like very irresponsible. I went to. I remember one time like one of my neighbors like started like circling around the neighborhood with his car and was like slow looking for people. Oh my God. It. That's crazy. I, I've yeah. only been ding dong ditching like maybe three or four times as a kid, but yeah, I, really? I Oh yeah. Fun. It's definitely, it's a rush for sure. <laughs> oh yeah. I like the, uh, um, what's it called? The adrenaline yeah. that you get. Yeah. <laughs> Some crazy stuff. Like, I, I rolled my ankle one night. Like, we'd do it at, like, you know, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Just run up and, oh, yeah. I, I hopped a bush and I rolled my ankle and I had to, like, literally limp run to a tree and, like, slide behind it so the guy wouldn't see me. It was <laughs> it was crazy. 
I remember one time me and my stupid friends we uh, went to this one big bigger White House on the top of my hill, and uh, there was a window at the bottom of the basement so you can like peek out and see if someone's like looking at the someone's at the door like you can see someone at the door. So my friends held my arm, and I got on like the side of like this rock that was like right next to the house and i like stood on that rock and like i touched the doorbell and we ran come to find out they had cameras like <laughs> right out there angled at us and we had no idea so the guys came out like the the main guy came out and uh looking for us and we were like all in the cornfield behind the house <laughs> yeah trying to hide from them <laughs> so did you got busted uh, no, we didn't get busted. Oh, we were nice, sneaky. Nice, we nice. were sneaky, right? The air horn, not so much. I remember like Jonah and I. We would like him and I and like a bunch of uh, like my other close friends. We would like um, we were walk around the neighborhood, and um, this dog was like unchained and saw us in the dark and started barking and oh, running man. after us. Like all of us just like dispersed in different directions. <laughs> it was, and the, the owner's like. Lucy, get in here or something like that. And just okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, we've been streaming for like an hour and forty-five minutes. I think it's pretty good time to wrap it up. You know, we've had pretty good, Honestly, I agree. pretty good yeah. conversations, decent podcasts. You know, you know. Absolutely, I appreciate being on here. I definitely to be on here again. And we ought to make oh, a definitely. video together. I, I, I think this year will definitely be the start of a duo between us for sure. It's I think we should. It's about to be fire. It's long overdue. For day. sure. It's oh, way yeah. long overdue. Years. <laughs> yes, years. Like two or three yeah. years overdue. All right, man. Go ahead and plug whatever you want to plug. And... All right. Yeah. Uh, subscribe to Border if you don't. Uh, you're a tool, nice. and you should definitely subscribe to me. Um, I post a bunch of fitness tutorials and supplement reviews, so definitely give us a look and check out his new rap song. It's pretty dope. <laughs> it's not that good. It really it's is It's not dope. that good. It's dope. Yes, it is, bro. <laughs> I couldn't even pull that off. I could not. Oh, man. Everybody's blowing my head up. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> going a power trip That's fair. but uh i got a link to alex youtube channel description down below if you guys want to go check that out uh definitely keep an eye out for a you know a, a collab between us very soon within the next few weeks possibly you know absolutely yes yeah so, we should definitely do it in the next few yeah. weeks all right guys well hopefully you enjoy this episode of the keep on rolling podcast if you did drop a like subscribe to the channel check out alec like i said uh 10 percent off mixed energy with code border seven I will catch you guys all later. Keep your heads high. Stay positive. Keep on rolling, Rock Squad. Deuces.